Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know what you guys are here for. You're here to see how we achieve this big hair. But before we get started, I do have to thank Dossier for sponsoring today's video. If you have yet to hear about Dossier, Dossier is a fragrance brand that reproduces classic high-end luxury scents for a fraction of the price. And to make matters even better, they have a risk-free system where they allow you guys to try fragrances without committing just in case you don't like what you receive. A really nice thing about Dossier is their scents are about $29, whereas when you are paying for high-end luxury scents, you are paying between 50 to a few hundreds, and like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have that to spend on perfume. And it's really, really cool because you get free returns and free exchanges forever, which is a win-win. They're always adding new scents to the website and are always taking suggestions for scents that you guys would like to see them feature. And they've always got great bulk deals so you can get 25% off of three plus bottles. The two scents that Dossier sent me were Floriental Brown Sugar. It is raspberry pear, a little bit of jasmine, orange blossom, brown sugar, and amber and vanilla. It is inspired by YSL Mon Paris Eau de Parfum. I know, damn well I didn't say that right. It's got 18% concentration. The packaging for these perfumes are so gorgeous. They're so minimal. Ooh, that smells really good. Ooh, that smells really freaking good. I, I can understand paying the YSL price for this. But if I don't have to, <laughs> why would I? Let's see what the next one is. Floral, honeysuckle, green leaves, orange, honeysuckle, tuberose, sandalwood, and vanilla. Inspired by Gucci's Balloon I de Perfume. Let's see what this one smells like. Ooh. Ooh, I've smelled this before on someone in passing because it, it's bringing me back to a specific moment. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Ooh, I think I like the floriental brown sugar more and I'm not even like a brown sugar kind of person. So if you guys are interested in all in getting dossier fragrances, go ahead and go right down to my description box and check everything out. I do have a discount code, of course. It's going to be Aaliyah M10, and you can also find that down below in the description box as well. Enough talking, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into today's video. All right guys, so good morning. This has been a video that I've been asked to do multiple times, and it is my natural hair care routine. This is not it. Don't worry, you're you're getting more than this. My hair is probably about two to three weeks old because I don't do anything. Um, my arm's hurting. I don't do anything, so I just chill with my baby at home all day. And somehow Jay still finds me. Attractive. Uh, I, I don't get it. I, I know, I don't, I don't get it either. But this is pretty much my before hair. It has so many things in it. It's got castor oil, it's got coconut oil, it's got deep conditioner, it's got pearl moisturizer, it's got eco styler. I don't really understand my hair type, but I think it is 4C. But I've worked really freaking hard to get where my hair is now. Like, if you guys remember me big topping my hair. Hey, back from the audience before they go down. Down a little, a little. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I, I was over the damaged dead hair. I don't know if I will include like me actually showering and washing it because I am on a time crunch. I've got Crystal watching Willow while I wash my hair and it just takes a really long time. But if you guys want an in-depth video on that, just let me know. So I'm just gonna show you guys like what I do after I wash it. But I do use Aussie shampoo. I use Pantene clean conditioner. Then I do my hair care. I section it and I wash every section twice and then I condition every section one time. I let it sit for a little bit. I actually shower it. Then I rinse out the conditioner, get out. I don't put any heat on my hair. I don't blow dry it. I don't straighten it. I did it recently and I think I lost some curls actually. Stay tuned. 
Okay, so after my shower, my hair looks like this. Love that for me. It's a little damp, which is actually what we want. You don't want your hair to be completely dry or like drenched. Let it to my texture without anything in it. I've got some defined curls. Tigger swimming on the first date. Do it. And I'm gonna come out looking like this. It's your choice. So I first used this Auntie Jackie Curl A Lot. I just recently started using this and when I tell you guys it has saved my whole freaking hair, like my hair has just been thriving because of this product. I actually just bought this and I want to try it, but it's a moisture intense leave-in conditioner also from Auntie Jackie's. And then to seal everything in, I just use this Castor Premium Hair Oil. If my hair gets dry throughout the process, I just use water and spray it so i just normally use just normal hair clips and i just section off my hair i normally start from the bottom and i don't do these in perfect parts because when i take them out i like my curls to look sporadic so i'll apply a little bit of water i'm going to take a leave-in conditioner put that in and then I go in with the Curl La La and I go ahead and even, evenly distribute that as well. As much as you feel you need. I go from roots to ends. So you just go ahead and put that throughout your whole head. And then I just take the castor oil, evenly distribute this into the hair as well and that's what my hair looks like after all of the products are in it and then i go ahead and take a wider tooth comb and then i just go ahead and clear out my hair I will grab a section of the hair and it doesn't matter how big or small that section is and I will pull it as tight as I can and I will just start to twist back like that just like that i just repeat that until my whole head is done so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i will show you guys what it looks like in the end it is currently 202 and i will show you guys what time it is when i'm done um but obviously if willow wakes up this will be a much longer process but it only takes me about 35 40 minutes to do my whole head This is what it looks like when it's all tested. When it dries, I literally do this for hours and Chris will get so mad at me. This is what they'll look like. My ends, like I said, need to be trimmed so they're still a little crazy. So obviously at this point, I'm just gonna let them dry overnight. And then tomorrow I will show you guys the end result with maybe a full glam. I also forgot to mention that I throw on a satin bonnet just to kind of keep everything sealed. So it is the next morning. They are completely dried and moisturized. And bouncy. Um, so I'm just going to take them out and show you guys what it looks like. I will just take a twist. Yes, look, at the, look at the shrinkage. Okay. Anyways, pull it down and twist it back the other way. And then I will separate the two pieces like this. And that looks like that. So after it looks like this, I start to take individual pieces and I kind of separate them. That 
is pretty much the end process. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and then I will show you guys. All right guys, so this is the end result. I did not fully um, stretch it to its potential. I think it is still like big enough and I think it just kind of works out. Um, this is the easiest tutorial I could possibly give without it being like 20 years long. That is it for today's video. Me and Willow are going to hit the streets. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my Floriental Blonde Sugar. It smells so freaking good. And call it a day. That is it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.